Holidays, sometimes they are anything but. First of all, you get all the waiting at the airport, and then when you do finally get there, your resort doesn't look anything like it does in the brochure. So what is the answer? Well, maybe it can be found here in England. But how much do we know about our own top tourist destinations? <laughs> Which city is allegedly home to more ghosts than any other haunted city in Europe and also has a chocolate bar named after it? Um, I don't know. Have a guess. Wonkable. Um, I can only think of super ones like Mars Bar, but... Um, London. In which county is Stonehenge? Oh, gosh. Um... Somerset? I haven't got a clue, I don't know. Um, Hampshire, is that right? I'm not quite sure, but uh, down south east somewhere. Uh, Wiltshire. Whereabouts would I be in London if I was staring at Nelson's column? Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square. I know that one. Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square. Who is Nelson Square? Um, which of these two tourist attractions is on the south coast. Offers Dyke or Durdle Door? Durdle Door. Probably Offers Dyke. Durdle Door sounds, sounds more kind of northern. Durdle Door. So as you can see, some of us know a lot, some of us don't know that much at all, but thankfully I'm in the right place to get a bit of help. I'm here at the Enjoy England Award for Excellence. Now with me I have Hugh Taylor from the England Marketing Advisory Board and also Trevor Watson from uh, the Caravan Club. First of all, Hugh, why should people be coming to holiday in England? I think because it's such a diverse uh, range of attractions and tourist uh, opportunities across the whole country. The awards this evening recognise how good the quality now is across the whole country, from clubbing in Manchester to sailing and uh, snorkeling and surfing in Cornwall. The range is fantastic and never been stronger. Trevor? Sure. England's got everything. I mean, you really can go coast, mountains, countryside, and we've got some great open space here still. So why wouldn't you want to holiday in England? It often seems to me that people from abroad have actually seen more of this country than we have. What would you say to that? Well, I think the uh, domestic market is still extremely important for the English and for the British generally. And with the uh, activities that are happening at the moment with the campaigns like the England Rocks campaign, which uh, looks at visitor attractions that have been made famous by the pop and rock culture of uh, our country, and with the other campaigns, more people are now hearing about it and are certainly enjoying what they see in England nowadays. Now, Trevor, you're a caravanning expert, of course. Why should people think about going caravanning? Uh, caravanning makes sense. Uh, there are large parts of this country where the only accommodation you can go to is actually a touring caravan site. But caravan makes sense for a lot of people because they can use it for short breaks, longer holidays. It gets them away uh, from the sort of crowded centres. And they can be anonymous, which is why we've got so many high-profile celebrities these days turning to caravanning. Who are they? Uh, a lot of them don't want it known who they are. I think some of them are very well known and well quiet enough, but when they're caravanning, they really can be anonymous and they can have real holidays as well. Now, small tourism and big tourism, how, how did the small uh, tourism kind of businesses compete with the bigger ones? Well, as you know, our industry is made up of over 30,000 small businesses and they're an incredibly important part. In fact, the awards this evening are going to recognise a great many of them. And, of course, they can compete very easily because they have a real ability to look after customers in a way perhaps that others can't. Uh, their personal touch, and the difference that that makes to the customer as they experience their products. So I would say that uh, the big players can learn an enormous amount from the small businesses and uh, we're recognising that this evening. Now finally, as some people say that um, holidaying in England can be as expensive as holidaying abroad. What, what would you say about that? Well, I think that the internet has actually brought about an enormous opportunity for customers to find the best deals and there really are lots of them in, the, in England. So if you go on to the enjoyengland.com website, for example, you will see uh, an enormous array of tourist attractions and opportunities, uh, much of which is uh, very well priced, great value for money, and whether or not it's a five-star hotel or a budget hotel or a B&B, you will find great value as you enjoy England. Hugh, Trevor, thank you very much indeed. So when you do think about going holiday this summer, or any other time for that matter, don't look at foreign shores, but you can find exactly what you want here in England.